oh my god guys when I tell you the stress it's taken me to get this all together I can't tell So at first guys, you want to basically, what I always do is, I always season my prawns, um, I'd always wash them before you do it. I usually tend to, season wise, I use all purpose, if you know, you know, if you know, you know. I use all purpose, so a little bit of that, I would say probably about a tablespoon of that, or a tablespoon or a teaspoon, actually no, I'd say a tablespoon. So I'd say a tablespoon of all purpose on your prawns. Then I'd say some mixed herbs. I use this one from Tesco, really good, only 70p. I'd say the same thing again with this, a tablespoon. Just so, well to be fair, I would season it to your taste. Obviously I like my stuff well seasoned, so I put a little bit more than the usual on, but some people don't like it as much. I also use garlic salt. Garlic salt is really good. It's basically, it's your salt and it's also given flavor. Garlic goes literally good with anything, like anything I use, anything I cook with, I always put garlic salt on it. So I'd say again a tablespoon or just a rough estimate of how much you want to put in there. And then I basically like to add some oil, vegetable or olive or sunflower, depends what you want. I literally add a little bit, just a drizzle, just so it gives, you know, it gives a little a little satin satin to your, to your prawns and then I'll just mix it round use your hands, don't judge me, my hands are clean if you're in your house you should be washing your hands anyway okay period, thank you so you want it to be looking like that a nice little marinade and I'm going to put that in the fridge for like 10 minutes while I cut the rest of my stuff bada bing bada boom so once you've got your pasta boiling and you've got your prawns in the fridge, I start getting all your veg and stuff ready to go in your pesto pasta. It's quite simple, I literally just use one onion, I tend to use a red onion, I prefer red onions, just I think it has more flavour than a white onion. Um, two garlic cloves, but you can use one if you want. And then this is like the part where it's up to you, it depends on your palate taste and it depends on the things that you like. I personally like to use chilies I wouldn't use this many I'll probably put about three chilies in my actual dish but they do they it is quite spicy you don't need to have it in your dish you can have it without it depends on you to be honest so I will just do what suits you guys and a cool trick for you guys if you didn't know if you wanna if you find if you struggle to basically cut onions and if you basically uh, always cut them rough when I used to go to cooking school this is not perfect because I'm not being in a hot sack but they basically used to tell us to cut an onion you do a slice in it and then you do another slice in it so it's like that so you basically have two slices in it and then make little rhymes going through it this is very rough by the way so if you are a chef watching don't come for me you know what I mean I'm just doing rough rough bits and then you do the same to the other onion. Just rough lines because you're going to see what happens in a minute when I cut them. And then you simply just cut through them. 
quite simple, quite easy, does the job and you're ready to go. And then we'll leave that to the side, that is our onion is ready. Then we'll chop up our garlic. Again, I'm using two cloves purely because I just personally love the taste of garlic. I just think it's amazing. Once you've done that, you just want to check on your pasta to make sure it's boiling. It's looking good. As you can see, it's all literally gone into the pan. I didn't have to do anything. All I had to do was just leave the pasta in there. You want it on a low heat as well. Don't put it on a high heat because your pasta will tend to, when it's here, it will tend to just burn. So once you've done that and if you taste it, it still needs doing, which mine does. You let that boil a little bit and then the next steps are... And then let it heat up. I would say probably about a tablespoon, but I think if you can just see it there, just roughly around that much. You don't want it too oily because you're going to get the oil from everything as well. The, my prawns are looking so good, guys. Like they're looking so good. Can you see how leaving them in the fridge, it just lets the flavours basically just absorb into them. So I'm going to add a bit of lemon just so it has a citrusy taste. Give that a stir and then basically I'm just going to add it into the pan and let them get a little crispy and I'd say leave them on the pan for about for about a minute on each side and then turn them over and then you'll see that I'm going to take them out and then I'm going to fry the vegetables in the same oil so it gets all the flavour. Once you think that's got like a nice golden kind of look, I tend to take my prawns out just because I don't want them to burn and just so I can basically cook everything else. So, While all of this is happening, your pasta should be done at this point. I like mine al dente, so it's not too hard, not too soft. So while you are on a low heat frying your onions and your garlic, take your pasta out, sieve it, put it in a sieve, and then I like to put some butter, mixed herbs, garlic salt, and a little bit, yeah, a little bit of oil if you don't have butter on it, ready to go in the pan. So now I've got my pasta, I've sieved it, I've put some butter on it, some mixed herbs and some garlic salt and I'm going to just leave it here while we cook off the rest of this dish. So now you can see that the onions are all nice and golden brown. So the next step is to add the prawns back in. Oh that looks so good. And you just want to stir it. I'll turn my heat up just a little bit so it's a bit quicker. And now this is the bun bar. Once this is all cooking, we're going to leave it for a few minutes. I'd say probably about a minute, a minute to a minute and a half. Let it all sizzle, let it get all those flavours going. I like to add a little bit more lemon, just to give it a little, a little tang. Make sure you always taste as you go as well. 
Ja, gewoon één ding tegen de You don't have to do this as well. I got this recipe from Vapiano's and they didn't do all of this, but I just like to add extra stuff in it. So I'll add a little bit more garlic salt. So I say a teaspoon of that. I do all purpose seasoning. It just gives it a bit of flavor. And I put all purpose seasoning in everything. So I'll say a little bit more of that. some mixed herbs and then at this point you want to taste it to see what it's saying have a little taste Hey guys, it's Mesa. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, how you doing? And if you're not, bitch, I missed you the fuck. Hey, this is a very, very, very different video. Like, I don't be doing videos like this all the time, and I need some credit because when I tell you, it just took me all together probably about an hour trying to get this all ready for this video. So, 
I'm gonna need you guys to appreciate this. And actually, to be honest, I've been wanting to do this for time, so it's not even something that is very much too much of a stress. I enjoy doing stuff like this, so I'm actually glad that I finally decided to do it because you know, procrastination is a real. She's a real, she's a real meanie. Do you know what I mean? She's a real meanie. But before we get into this video, if you could please pause the video, subscribe, because I'm nearly at 1K, and go and follow me on all my social medias, at Mason Blake with two E's. This angle already is not the best. Obviously, I tried to do what I could do with what I had, and when I tell you, I was literally, for about 20 minutes, trying to get this camera to give an angle where you could see the food, and also see me, and it just wasn't happening, so this is the best it's gonna be. Yeah, like, we move, period. Today, I've got, I don't know what it's actually called. I found this recipe from, if you know, if you're from the UK, there's a place called Vapiano's, and it's basically like an Italian chain where you go in and they make your dish for you. It's usually like pasta and like pizza, and basically I must have gone in there and seen this guy order this dish and I was like oh my god what is that I asked him and he was like oh it's I think it's gambarine I'll get the name and I'll put it in the description box below but anyway I saw this dish and I was like oh my god and I was hooked on it for a hot sec I'd bring my friends to go and get it and then I just decided that I could just make it myself so this is my version of it if you've watched the video before you would have seen that I've given the recipe and I kind of made it I gave like a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to make this dish um it wasn't the best it's my first time doing it so allow me but let's get straight on in the video before this food gets cold i am ready so you can see and you know what? i got this tray because i was like i'm not really got time to be washing up <laughs> this is the pasta in it it's got prawns it's got onions garlic chili i was gonna put spinach in it but i couldn't find any spinach so this is this in the actual recipe from rapiano's they put tomatoes in it but I'm not a big fan of tomatoes, so I just left that out. And then here I've got some garlic bread, if you can see. I've got some garlic bread, and I've got a little side of saddle. I'm going to put some cheese over my... Oh, are you serious? Look at that. Are you mad? Are you, are you loca? <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, that's enough. Seafood and pasta, I love love i love me some lemon like lemon like lemon love it got here this is sarsaparilla i don't know if you know this it's like a caribbean drink and it's a diluted drink you have to put water in it it's lovely how's everyone doing firstly i feel like i'm not being on youtube for a hot sec it's been like a crazy few weeks like it was my birthday a few days ago so i was in london and then before that I don't know, do you ever get like those times, I feel like I've, I had like a little blip on YouTube where um, I just, not lost the motivation, but it was just like, when I started, I always said that I wanted to do reaction videos, and I said that I wanted to do mukbangs, and then kind of just, I didn't really want to bracket myself in like a, in like a part where I could only do this, or I could only do that, but I don't know, as I've been doing it, and as I've been like continuing over the last year, um, something in my head I don't know I've been wanting to do McBungs but then something in my head's been like you can't do it because you're doing this so what I basically decided to do was um, I'll put this in the description box below I've started up a new channel which is linked to this channel called eat with mace and I want to be posting every week recipes like this and just normal McBungs where you can just see me basically just more food related so then it's kind of you've got the it's not too muddled up I might still put food on this channel but I feel like it just makes it easier if I have two channels for different things like so people don't get confused and people are not like what are you doing but anyway I'm talking bad let me actually eat let's see how this tastes are you mad? <laughs> oh my god this is so good oh my god did it again does anyone else eat their spaghetti with a knife and a, not a knife a, yeah a knife a fork and a spoon or is it just me I've always like because you can just you can just round up that you, you know what I mean you can just round it all up and just be like mmm <laughs> I was also saying when I was making this recipe I said you don't need to have prawns in it like if you're a vegetarian just leave the prawns out there's so many times I've had this and I've not put prawns in it you don't need it it just adds a little bit of something in it You 
You can really taste the flavour. I've not had this in so long. Alright. When I say it, when I moved to Brighton, um, you know, I don't know, if you're a student or if you've been a student, a lot of people say they have their student struggle, like their student struggle now. But my mum literally said to me that I'm literally too bougie, like I do the most because you know some people that have like toast and beans, like that, 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 there's none of that for me. They would literally be, oh my God, I don't have that much money. So I'd be like, oh my God, okay, let me just make pesto pasta. Like, like who does that? Do you know what I mean? Who does that? But, mm. I feel like the pasta as well, garlic bread always, always hits the spot. Mm. Did anyone hear about the, um, I was literally on my way back home from London the other day and I saw the news about how there might be another case of um, a lockdown and I was like, hell no, do you know how long this has been already? Like, to have another one would be actually ridiculous. But then, mm. But then again, a lot of people didn't follow the rules. I'm not going to sound like a saint. I did it all the time. Like, I wasn't home 24-7, but for the majority of times I was. But I just think it's silly. I feel, I feel like also why there was a need to open pubs before there was a need to open, like, gyms and stuff. It doesn't make any sense, like... I literally knew from, from when they said that pubs were going to be open, like, I knew that they were going to be like, it's so stupid, so many people went, like so many people went out. And I was really disappointed as well because I don't know if anyone heard about um, the scandal with the guy who owns Spoons, like Weather Spoons, but basically the guy who owns Weather Spoons basically, um, he was trending on Twitter like a few weeks ago because apparently when the whole lockdown thing happened he refused to pay staff like there was a situation where he was like you have to find another job or something and I really thought that when the pubs got announced that they were going to be open again people wouldn't go so like I mean why would you give your money to someone who doesn't really care about anyone but themselves you know what I mean but I don't understand. When I tell you guys, I'm actually so, so excited that I've actually done this because when I say, I've been telling my friends for time, like they've been like, why have you not done it? And I've just been like, oh, because I live in a shared house as well, to also, to cook my food in the kitchen and to have the kitchen not be like, people not go in, it's a bit difficult. So sometimes it's just like, can I really be bothered? to go through that, but I'm happy I did it. And also, I watch a lot of McBungers. Like, when I say my thing on YouTube, for things I like to watch, is literally people who react to videos and people who literally eat food like this. So, I've been following a few UK McBungers who, like, I just think are very consistent, and right? on their stuff. A few of those people are Shy Nation, I feel like everyone knows who Shy Nation is. I actually um, got in contact like a few months ago and before lockdown we were supposed to actually do a collab and do a video so hopefully that can happen at some point. Also a few few people who I've contacted who, who I now would say are friends of mine, like little YouTuber friends like um, Midnight Chocolate. You need, to, you need to go and like subscribe to her channel. Like she does McBangs and kind of like story times and lifestyle videos. And she's literally just such a funny girl. Like she is literally a funny, funny girl. And I I always watch her videos. So I, that's definitely someone to watch. And I also found her by literally just being on YouTube typing in UK McBangers. And also a girl called Sunflower, Sunflower something. She's really fun as well. And I got this whole idea of making the recipe before I eat it from her because she had a linguine, she had a linguine recipe on her channel and she made it and I was like oh my god, her one was so much better though like literally she 
she made it look easy. I was like in the kitchen, like literally pausing my camera every three every three seconds, like. Ah, ah, ah. So them two, and also Royal Airs. I'm sure you've heard of him. He's he's from the UK too. He he's really nice. So yeah, check them out. Mmm, this is so good. I think that um, what I'm gonna do is basically Basically, I'm going to try to upload two or three times a week, but one of those days every week is going to be a mukbang. It's not always going to be recipes, because sometimes it is hard to do that. Um, but if it's not a recipe, it'll be like a Nando's mukbang or something like that. Mm, I love garlic bread. But, if you're watching, and you found me through like typing them at bangers, tell me what do you, what would you, what kind of food would you like to see me, see me do or make? Because I'm down to do, I'm, I'm down to do most things to be fair, when it comes to actually cooking food, I tend to cook more like pasta based dishes or like sort of those kind of styles, but I definitely would try out different things. Oh my god, how am I getting full already? I feel so bougie. <laughs> like, <laughs> if the camera wasn't on, I would have just stacked everything on the plate, like, boom. I feel like when I do these videos as well. I need to get a mic because I know some, some of y'all love to hear people crunch and I <laughs> oh my god I don't understand it but well, I do understand it it's like ASMR but it's like I don't know I'm not sure about that one this literally tastes so good but And like, I really feel like when you add a bit of chili in it, even if you don't like spice, because I feel like it's not really spicy. Even mine right now, mine's not spicy. Mine's just got like a little kick. It just adds a bit of flavor. Just a little bit of flavor. This is a big bite. It's a big, big ass bite. Have some of my drink. It gets annoying, you know when you have like a diluted drink and you've got you've not got like a a knife or a spoon to mix it, so then it just tastes really really hold up. Focus. So then it just tastes really really watery. I have that situation right now guys. I literally have that situation right now. I can just taste that water. I feel like I'm on like an episode of Man V Food. Like, this is a lot. This is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Jesus. Oh my God, that's what I was gonna say as well. So, I'm literally so close to 1K. And I was thinking, um, 
I was thinking when I get to 1k I might do like a little giveaway to one of like to one of my subscribers. I don't know, I just think it might be cool. So let me know in the comments box below if you think when I get to 1k I should do a giveaway. And also if I was to do a giveaway, what should I kinda do? What, what sort of thing like because I was thinking maybe like a voucher for somewhere. But then I was thinking um, because that's, that's kind of easy, like a, a voucher, you can just send it to someone, but I just don't know. What do you think? Tell me in the description box below. I feel like since my birthday as well, by the way, my birthday was on the 5th of July, so it was a few days ago. Um, I spent it in London with a few friends, and it was probably a highlight of my of my life, it was one of my best birthdays actually. The energy, the people, everything was amazing. We was supposed to, the plan was at first, we were supposed to go to some brunch thing my friend was performing, but that got cancelled. So we ended up going to Soho Square, I don't know if you know that, but it's in London, it's a park, and like, that's where everyone was at that point. We went there for drinks. And then there was this party, there was this party in London that we went to, and it was so crazy, like, we had to basically, when we got there, we had to get a boat, like, a boat to the party, like, so let's say that there's, like, a canal, or, like, there's a lake, you had to get, like, a boat, so a boat to get to the other side, and it was just crazy, I was like, oh my god, what is going on? I felt like I was in Jamaica, do you know what I mean? <laughs> but that was cool, we went to that. And then after that, when I tell you, like, I was actually partying for, like, two, two, three days straight. You know what I mean? Um, on my actual birthday, we spent the day just on the field, had a barbecue. Chilled with some cute people. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a bit like a movie, like... You know when you see those movies and it's like, someone has a birthday and like everything goes to plan. It's like, they have like a boo, they're like, all booed up and everything. It was literally when I tell you, like, I felt like I was in a movie. I was like, I still feel like I'm in a movie, but that's a story for another time. But, baby, <laughs> yeah. Guys, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have a few more bites, but, this is this is starting to like to fit. I'm starting. I feel like I might have to be. I might have to just take it on the chin. I might have to just just call this a loss. Oh my god. When I tell you getting the setup was a bit difficult, so I need to figure out how I'm gonna, gonna do this. Because this is okay, but I feel like it could be a lot better. I'm just gonna, I feel like I'm just gonna invest in some stuff, like, so it looks a bit better on camera as well. Let me know, like, if you got any suggestions on what I can do, please share with your boy, do you know what I mean? Sharing is caring. I should have a set day every day, every day. I don't know if I should have a set day every week for when I do these videos. I feel like it, I feel like in a way it is good so you know what day it's coming, but also sometimes it's a bit difficult with schedules and stuff, but we are in literally lockdown at the moment. Anyway, I don't really have any excuse not to do that. Guys, wow. I'm gonna wrap that up right there. Um, I am literally defeated. That was like, wow, wow. 
but guys i hope you enjoyed the video let me know what you thought let me know if you make this recipe if you do tell me um i want to see photos and all of that um and let me know what other videos that you want to see me do on my channel sorry for the quality i'll get better honestly um i'm learning as we go so it is what it is but we move period but thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it before you go please subscribe to my channel nearly at 1k and go and follow me on all my social medias at mason blake with two e's but thank you for watching guys i'll speak to you later